Live coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. Back at home against the Portland Craig Trailblazers. Anthony, coming Smith to town to take on the Celtics. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. They've got eight. Jeremy Grant is out there with Sharp. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Henderson in at the point. And for the Celtics. Here are the, the starting lineups for both teams. Porzingis is out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Stewart in at the point. And as the season draws to a close, GA, we've got teams buying for playoff position. Only adding to the importance of each game now. And for those teams, you have to have the right mentality. You can't treat these like normal regular season games. These are an extension of the playoffs. The goal to see, the let's get it. We'll be watching with great interest Stewart the battle between MB and Scoot Taylor. Henderson. This is Stewart. the first time back. they faced off the rookie. He scores Scott Stewart. It's a start. Very excited to say the least for this one. When we talk about Scoot Henderson, who stands about Henderson six brings three, it up. It's all about his strength and leaping eight. ability that makes it feel like he's way taller. So I put a bigger defender Andre on him lost to it. try to slow him down just a bit. And MP back in the saddle after Tatum. the tough loss last time. The hook is there for it's Jason Tatum. The beauty is we get to do it all over again. Henderson passes to Aiton. Aiton. Aiton is screen on white. Back to Aiton. Aiton, pump fake. Double team. Ooh, get it out, says Porzingis. Shot clock at three for three. Brockton. Brockton for three. Rebound, Rebound Scott Stewart. This game coming on the heels of their win We're against push. the Kings. Was game uh, Jason Taylor. Stewart gets it back and draws a foul. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game plan a great strategy to take advantage of. And one point of focus for the Blazers. Steve, they're trying to work his third. Terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's Jason Tatum. To the hoop that looked like Scott Stewart. You got Malcolm Brogdon. He's out there with Scoot Henderson. Sharp out there with Williams. And it's Wainwright in at the four-man position. In the 2016 and 17 drafts, GA, Boston ended up with the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back-to-back, -back, setting Henderson. up their franchise for years. Let's check in with our reporter, Pull up. David Aldridge. Hey guys, MP in the last game against Sacramento played superb basketball. He scored 25 I'll points, pick. and as you may have guessed with him, a lot of those were on the three ball. Some really Stewart drives to the hoop. Yes, sir, Shots Scott Stewart. He's now he double figures with 10. Tonight, guys. Excellent, David. Thank you. Greg, how impressive was it watching him completely take over? Unstoppable. Uh, they won that game because of his effort and just his overall relentlessness. And that's what every player has control of. This level Ooh, of activity. Steal. It allows you to impact the game. Andrew Holiday. If the shot isn't falling. This is Potato. exactly what the yes, fans sir. are hoping to see in the second half. The wing pairing, it's white and brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Stewart Stewart. in at the one spot. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. Stewart and let's Jason head over Tatum. To the and Triple. Catch up with David Bonnie, Jason Tatum. Well, Scoot Henderson spent two years with the G League Ignite team after graduating a year early from high school. He said, it's my path since I was a kid competing at the highest level in the world has been my main goal. Becoming the youngest professional American basketball player is just icing on Straight the cake. Straight on triple. Kevin, for him, it's all about OVD. Overly determined to dominate. Back to you. <laughs> I love it. DA, thank you so much. Now, here's MP. Stewart finds Tatum. He's got 15. And it's in there. And there's a double-double now for Scott Stewart. Points. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player, and this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line. And more, for three. more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on the finals team at just 24 years old. Starting to have with three straight. Now how they envisioned this one. And that one is good. 
That makes three in a row to start the second half. And here's Henderson. He'll bring it up for the Trailblazers. Searching for that first bucket here in the third. Shot to Anderson. stop the run. And the rejection by MP. Goes up. Jalen oh, Brown throws it down. Well, now that they've settled into this game, you can see the offense is firing on all cylinders. Yeah, the reason why they made the adjustments. Aiden has it is just fantastic. Capable of scoring in many different ways. Now, here's Stewart. Down kicks to Stewart. Stewart. The pass to Porzingis. Oh, good look to Porzingis. And another assist. That makes 15 assists. 15 dimes to Scott Stewart. Defense all game long. Henderson for three. Understand. Oh, the Browns got Stewart. MP's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Right the pass to Stewart MP. Cuts to the hoop. Throws it down, Scott MP. Stewart. Beautiful find by Derek White. When you start your career with Coach Popovich, you either make the next pass or you don't get minutes. Now, here's Brogdon. It's Henderson on the wing. From outside the arc. Rebounded by the Celtics. Brown's got four rebounds in this game. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance. And it really ignited what is turning out to be Fine. a monster win here for Boston. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a Derek sense. pulls up that and scores. They, they just yeah. pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today and reaching an impressive milestone on the year this will be win number six critical screen off it's a foul played so well this season i think pretty much any given night they've come in with uh, that swagger and attitude and they've really backed it up and with the win approaching they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone and one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible Stewart. performance for MP. A big part Ron of their JT. success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. Now, Stewart here's drives to the hoop. Jason Tatum Can't get it. Flash shot. On the wing, MP. Shot clock at six. Tatum, that's for two. Just Tatum hits the two. As they fight. Home court advantage. Celtics can dribble it out. They will get the win at home against Portland. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Okay, so here's a fun one. Can MP at some point in his career break the single game assist record? I mean, do you know what it is? No idea. 30. 30. Scotty Skiles did it in 1990. 30? Mm-hmm. I didn't realize Scotty Skiles was nice like that. Yeah, yeah, he's underrated. Huh. Has anyone come close to that? Most since 2000 is Rondo. He had uh, 25 once. Oh, oh, and he's definitely got Rondo vision. I can see that happen. He topped 15 recently, but 30? That would be something hey, else, man. if anyone can do it, my boy MP can do it. I agree. Oh, welcome to the right side of history, Sam. We've been waiting for you. <sighs> Agreeing with you feels gross and wrong. But it feels so like good. good. Have this season. You just That's crushed Sam level right Henderson there. for the second time in a row. Tell me honestly. Is he overrated? Um, I'm not going to call anybody overrated. Uh, that label gets thrown around too easily. But at the end of the day, hey, basketball is a bottom line business. It's about wins and losses. And the numbers don't lie. Scoot hasn't gotten it done these past two games against us, but I still think he has the potential to be a great player. Um, I still think he has the talent, the skills, and the drive to succeed. And I have no doubt that he's going to keep working hard and improving. 
He's just got to prove it on the court. And so far, at least against us, he hasn't done that. 